but I put a poll in the Instagram stories. And I was like, ask entrepreneurship questions. And we have like a few that we're going to um, answer. What should I do if I want to pursue a career change, but I don't know where to start? I think you have to see what you like doing. Like, don't get stuck somewhere where you're just working to make money and you don't feel purposeful. Like, what do you like doing? Do you feel like you're getting taken advantage of where you're at? Do you feel like you're not making what you're worth where you're at? Do you feel like um, you're not happy where you're at? Why do you want a career change? Are you just bored? Or are you looking to find your purpose? And to do that, you have to try new things. What are you good at? Everybody has a gift. I don't care who you are. Everybody has a gift. You're born with something. Your gift could literally be your patience. Okay, like your, your, your gift is usually something that comes easy and natural to you, but it's difficult for other people. What is your gift? Gifts isn't always talents. A talent, oh, I can sing, I can dance, I can act. Okay, cool, cool. But your gift can literally be, your, you motivate people very well. You're, you're a good listener. You have patience. You, you work with kids well. You, um, you bring out things in people that nobody else could have brought out of them. What is your natural gift? You try to use that gift to find your purpose. So if you want a career shift, you also want to be happy and you want to be purposeful right? So start to try different things that you feel like your gift can be used in that area. That would be my advice. You have to do trial and error or else you're just going to be stagnant. And I literally talked about this with my therapist. I rather, I'm literally more scared of what's going to happen if I stay than what's going to happen if I go. I'm, go I'm more scared of what's going to happen if I sit stagnant and do the same thing over and over than what's going to happen if I try. So you have to try. You have to put yourself out there. Even when I was going through um, one of my darkest years last year with my mental health, me trying new techniques to get my mindset to a better place, some stuff just didn't work. Or some stuff worked for a while and then it stopped working, like the gym. For a whole season, I could go to the gym and cry in the gym. I would literally cry as I was lifting the weights. I'm like, if I can make it through this, I can make it through life. If I can do one more of this, I can do one more day. Like I, I correlated the gym so much to life, but eventually it stopped working. So maybe you have to walk. Maybe you have to journal. Maybe you have to have to have to pray a different way. Maybe you have to have your worship and pray, praise and worship. But I'm saying you have to try. You're not going to know until you try. So it's going to be trial and error. But try to try something that allows you to use your gifts. What is the best investment you can make as an entrepreneur? Y'all know I'm going to say yourself. You know, I'm going to say yourself, you want everybody else to help you. You want everybody else to see you. You want everybody else to give you money. You want everybody else to put you in position to win. You're not doing it for yourself. You barely believe in you. How I'm going to believe? You rapping? I didn't, I didn't even know you could sing. Well, I ain't never heard you sing. You got a clothing line? Why don't you wear it? You got on Louis. Where your shirt at? You want everybody else to market you. You want everybody else to give you money. You want everybody else. Man, man, F them. They don't never repost me. So you barely on social media. You don't repost you. You not going hard for you. Why am I going to do it? So I think your best investment is yourself. Every single time you get a check, you can put money to the side for the bigger picture. I don't care if you're putting aside $5 a week. It sounds stupid. It sounds minimal. But once you get to the end of that year, I don't know what that is, but it's something that you can put into your business. It's something. It's better than zero. You getting your nails and your hair done every week. For what? Who is you showing off to? You ain't, you ain't, what's going on? Put that hair in a ponytail, put a hat on, and save that hair money for your business. You know, you, you getting your makeup done, you're buying clothes, you're doing this, you're doing that. You're over, okay, I got to put gas in my car, I got to eat. You got to eat. Yeah, I remember days where I ate less, though. I was eating to survive. Sometimes you have to be in that survival mode. I'm not saying be there forever. But sometimes you don't need to be worried about, no, oh, I'm saving up so this weekend we could go to uh, Ruth, Ruth Chris. We could go get some steak. For what? Start, you you got to start putting money to the side to invest in yourself, not just financially, your time, your, your mind. What are you feeding your mind? 
You're not investing into yourself long term if you're constantly feeding your mind toxic stuff. Your mindset has to shift around money, around investing, around your, your, your entrepreneur goals. So your best investment is yourself. I'm not just talking about financially. And speaking of your mind, the last question was, how do I get motivated when I fall off track? For me, this is for me. And mind you, all of these answers are for me. It's my journey and my experience. How do I get motivated when I fall off track? Fulfillment. Fulfillment. If I am not fulfilled, I can't function. I can't function. Fulfillment. What fulfills me? Okay, being an entrepreneur fulfills me. Uh, 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 starting businesses fulfills me. Comedy fulfills me. So to be fulfilled, these are the things I have to do to get there. If I don't do these things, it's literally as simple as black and white. If I do not do these things, I will not get there. So how are you fulfilled? When you look in the mirror, are you happy with what you see? Do you feel like you're overweight? Do you feel like you don't like what you see? Do you feel insecure? How do we get to the end goal of changing that and loving ourselves? I have to watch what I eat. Start at the beginning. I have to get some self-control and discipline. I have to get some structure in my life. I have to, you have to acknowledge the problems and figure out what is going to get you to the point of fulfillment. Start at the issue. And how do we fix that issue? Take it back to the, to the basics. How do we fix these little things? It seems so little, y'all. I'm telling you, it seems little until you've done it for a year. You've been consistent with not eating at midnight, a midnight snack. You got a snicker bar by your bed. But you complaining about your stomach every day? Somebody out there right now, you got a, a Diet Coke and a cereal bowl <laughs> on your nightstand when it should be a Bible. <laughs> yeah, you're overweight, bucko. Yeah, so I don't want to hear nothing else about you not liking your stomach until you put the snicker bar down. So let's start with something small, self-control and discipline. And once you do that for six weeks and six months and six years, now we get to fulfillment. I'm fulfilled and I'm happy and I'm confident because now I, I look better. I feel better. And I'm just using diet and the physical appearance as an example. That could be anything. Fulfillment. I know I want to be on tour. I know it fulfills me when I'm doing comedy on tour. I know it fulfills me when I can be myself, start a brand from the ground up from zero and make it a multi-million dollar brand that not only is making me and my family financially free, but it's touching somebody because there's always a purpose and a message behind my brands. That fulfills me. But to have that fulfillment, I have to fucking work. Excuse my language, but I have to work. I, I got to get up every day. I have to be productive every day. I have to be consistent on social media. Not just consistent, oh, I want to go viral. Just consistent putting out content consistently to be in people's algorithm. I have to post pictures. I, so think of the end goal of what your life would look like if you were fully fulfilled. How you would look. How you would feel. What dream job you would have. And what are the steps you have to do to get there. For me, my motivation is fulfillment. The highest level of success is not financial, it's fulfillment. You got millionaires committed suicide, so it can't be money. Money can't be the answer. Money can't be the answer if we got billionaires jumping off bridges. Come on, let's thank people. Money cannot be the answer. It's fulfillment. You can be fulfilled in a shack with the love of your life. If you are happy and fulfilled, to me, that is success. I want to be fulfilled. So how do I become fulfilled? It starts with the little things, the little everyday habits. I'm still trying to break certain habits. I'm still trying to break certain things. But acknowledging it and being honest with who you are and where you are in this season, I promise it's a major step. Acknowledgement in the truth, it, stop brushing it under the rug. Acknowledgement of who you truly are. Baby, you don't heard me say it a million times on this podcast if you listen. I had an addiction to food and I still battle with it. Addiction to overeating and binge eating and just eating, 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 stress eating, happy eating, celebratory eating. It's my birthday eating. I got two more followers eating. You don't need to celebrate those two followers with a burger. Relax. You just, you just want an excuse to eat that, that french fry. Oh, girl, we made it to L.A. safely. Thank you. Glory be to God. Let's go get some. <laughs> let's go get a meal. A celebratory meal. Let's celebrate the little things. No, you just want to eat. So, yeah, y'all. To me, the highest level of success is not financial. It's not money. It's not riches. It's not fame. It's fulfillment. 
if you're fulfilled doing what you do every day, you can't lose. I'm fulfilled. I am fulfilled. Even when I take a financial loss, I, this is what comes with it. I'm fulfilled. I love what I do. I will never, ever, ever stop what I do. Entrepreneurship, starting businesses based off my truth, my life, and hopefully my testimony and my experience can touch other people and make me some money. Yeah. I want to live off my gifts, my fulfillment, and be financially free. Yeah. I want the mansion, but I also want peace. Yes, I want the nice clothes, but I also want joy. Yes, I want the beautiful family and I want the look and the aesthetic, but I also want internal, internal happiness. I don't want all of that and be dead and rotten and dark and black and depressed on the inside. It don't work like that. 